Hi everybody! Last week I turned 34 and I decided this week that I would make a video called 34 Facts About Me. I have this one particular habit which is if I get excited or if I'm doing something and I think I'm doing it well or I'm getting it done, I rub my hands together like this <laughs> and then doing that makes me more excited. I've been on TV four times, once for The Rose of Tralee, once for a dating show called One Night Stand, cringe, once for um, You're a Star, I was a backing dancer for Donna and Joseph McCall, and once I was on Show Aga and O'Shea being interviewed about Irish dancing. You probably already know that I'm an English language teacher, but um, it doesn't necessarily mean that a person loves grammar, but I love grammar. I love talking about grammar, but no one ever lets me talk about grammar. Apart from my students, of course, they, they want me to talk about grammar, but nobody else. Three things I can't do that I'd love to be able to do are sing, swim and cartwheel. I am a pescatarian. I haven't eaten meat for more than 10 years and I really doubt that I ever will again. I became a vegetarian for different reasons to most people, I um, became grossed out by meat. I couldn't separate the dead animal, the blood, with the thing that was on my plate and cooked and displayed all lovely. So I still eat fish for now, I may not in the future, but yeah, pescatarian. I have a couple of bad habits. One is, well, I'm a contact lens wearer, I wear disposable contact lenses, but at the end of the night when they're beginning to hurt me and I want to take them out, I tend to just pop them out of my eyes and throw them wherever I am. So maybe down the side of the bed or on the coffee table, on the sink, you'll just find like little hard shriveled up contact lenses everywhere I live. The other bad habit of mine is to do with my bank card. I don't use my wallet, I don't know why, I've just never really got in on that thing. <laughs> um, I tend to pay for things with my card and then very quickly stick my card in whatever pocket of whatever coat or jacket I'm wearing. I don't know, I just get like frazzled by like the till and trying to carry all my bags and everything. So I just put it in my pocket very quickly and leave the shop. But then I forget to take it out and then the next day I might be going to try and pay for something and I realise I don't have my card because it's probably in the pocket of whatever I was wearing the day before. My two favourite books are Dracula and Angela's Ashes. Two very different books, I know. I read Dracula many years ago and it affected my sleep. I remember I was dreaming about vampires and I always remember the scene where, um, what's his name? He's played by Keanu Reeves in the movie. Anyway, where he's in Dracula's castle and he looks out the window and he sees Dracula scaling the side of the wall. That really freaked me out, but in a good way. Um, I think it's an amazing book and you'd never believe it's as old as it is. And the reason why I loved Angela's Ashes so much was because it really made me laugh. I, I know, well, I don't think it's supposed to be a funny book, really. Um, it's obviously describing a very hard time in Irish life, but I just loved the way Frank McCourt talked about his little brother. It really, really cracked me up. I thought it was hilarious. My favourite scene in a movie ever is probably in The Count of Monte Cristo. I love the scene where he's in the prison and he's sort of given up hope and he's just laying about doing nothing and then he meets an old man who lives in a cell next door and this man encourages him to better himself. He starts to learn loads of different languages, he starts to work out, he starts to use his brain and uh, his body and I, I think it just really excites me. I, I love the idea of having a project and doing things to make yourself a better person so I just find it very exciting. Um, yeah, I, I love that movie in general, but that scene in particular is brilliant. I lived in Italy for two years. I lived in Salerno, which is down the south of Italy, just down past Naples for a year and a half. And then I lived in Rome for six months. That was five years ago. I'm back five years. Um, sometimes I lie to Italians when they ask me how long I lived there and I say I lived there for about six months because I kind of think it's embarrassing that I lived there for two years and I don't speak Italian, especially because I'm an English language teacher, but I know I'm really bad at learning languages and it was very hard to learn it there because everyone knew I was an English teacher and wanted to speak English with me and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. When I was a child, I had three favourite toys. They still live on my bed at home, actually, and they were Sweet Dreams, Blackie and Paul. 
Sweet Dreams was one of those pillow people that were really popular in the 80s and Blackie was a teddy bear that my mum made for me out of a school jumper. He's actually blue but at the time that I got him I hadn't learned my colours and I was terrified of him. And the other one is Paul which my mum also made and he's made out of a pair of jeans and he's like really long and skinny because he's a worm and he wears a hat. My favourite Spice Girl was always Ginger Spice. At the time I didn't have red hair so that wasn't the reason but she just resonated with me the most. I wasn't sporty, I wasn't posh, I wasn't scary and uh, I didn't like baby at all even though I'm quite a girly girl so uh, Ginger Spice just was my obsession. I used to cut out the, like I'd see like maybe the corner of her face on a newspaper and I'd like really carefully like cut it out and like glue it in my scrapbook which I still have at home and I should look for. My star sign is Leo. I think I'm quite true to the sign and I think it's a pretty cool sign but then again everyone loves their own one and I am in the Chinese calendar the rat but I think for them maybe I'm wrong but I think the word rat and mouse is the same so it's not as bad as it sounds. If I could have a superpower while flying would be lovely. I don't really see how that could do much for the world. I would choose healing. I just think that would be the most generous superpower to take on. Uh, can you imagine if you could just cure people by touching them? You'd probably never have a life of your own again, but it'd be worth it. A feeling I never feel is boredom. I'm never bored. I don't understand it. There isn't enough time. I really love animals, plants, trees, nature, flowers. I think it runs in the family because I could go for a walk with my mum or dad and for the whole walk we could just talk about all the flora and fauna that we see because we all really love that topic. My sister Jane once said that if she had to use any word to talk about me it would be aliveness and that was one of the best compliments I ever got. I'm absolutely terrible with numbers and maths really really bad. I have diagnosed myself as having dyscalculia. I asked my boyfriend what he thought I was terrible at. He also added um, politics, current affairs and what is it? I can't even remember the word. Logistics. Really bad at logistics. My two favourite perfumes are Ceruti 1881 and Paco Rabanne Black XS. I'm not a big fan of perfumes and I don't like really sweet smells but they are both beautiful. Do you know what I hate? I really really hate sport. I hate sport. All sport. The only way I can properly get this across is if Ireland was in the final of the World Cup and even won the World Cup, I wouldn't watch and I wouldn't care. Lighting is very important to me. I really don't like if you're in a room and there's just one like central light. I'm lucky in this apartment we don't have any central single light bulbs hanging from the roof. So I'm all about lamps and candles and fairy lights. And I really suffer if I'm in a room with like fluorescent lights. Um, I just want to get out of there quickly. My dream man is not in every movie, just in this one particular movie. Brad Pitt. In Legends of the Fall. <sighs> my favourite thing about myself physically is my overall physique I suppose. I stay quite slim without having to put too much effort into it. I dance quite a bit but I think it's mainly genetic and high metabolism. My least favourite thing is definitely my nose. I really hated it when I was younger but I've kind of made peace with it to the extent that I wouldn't change it now given the option because I do think it's part of me. Um, it's, I don't want to show you my side profile but I will. Whoa, horrible. My favourite movie genre is definitely horrors and also thrillers. I just love, I, I especially like the like the movies where the scary thing is human because I think it's more realistic and I just get a thrill out of um, being scared. I suppose not in real life but just when I'm safe and cosy and comfortable on my own little couch watching it. And I also love listening to murder mystery podcasts. Um, I don't know why because I'm such a happy person but maybe that's why I'm able to cope with them. Um, love them, yes. I do some voluntary work with the charity alone. They paired me up with Elizabeth. Elizabeth is 94 years old and she lives alone and all I have to do is go and visit her once a week just to chat and we get on like a house on fire. I've been seeing her now for a few years and we have so much in common. I think it's an amazing charity and if you're thinking about volunteering I think you should definitely look it up. 
I don't really like cooking but if you were coming to my house and I was going to make something for you it would be my vegetarian lasagna which I make using corn mince and I guarantee you wouldn't know the difference. My favourite time of year is definitely Christmas. I love Christmas. I'm a big fan of takeaway coffees and I don't really know whether, no I know, I don't really love the taste of takeaway coffees, it's more that I love the idea of them. I don't know, I just think they're so cosy and they're like this little friend that comes with you and uh, don't get on my back about the environment because I don't eat meat and that's the most important thing you can do. My favourite thing in the world is dancing. Now I do mainly Irish dancing but I love all types of dancing. My sister and I we ran an Irish dancing show for 10 years and we travelled all around Europe and further dancing. Our pinnacle I suppose was dancing on Broadway and um, I still dance now. I teach dancing every week, I take classes every week and it's really hard for me to express how much I love it. Just take my word for it, I love it. If I were to choose some words to describe my personality I would say First of all, positive. I think I'm a very positive person and I hate being around negative people. I'd also use playful and energetic. My dream career is to work full time as a personal shopper and to also continue to blog and make videos on the side. Maybe do some work like presenting. You're probably looking at this thinking, yeah, I'm not good enough for that. I would love to work on costumes for movies. That would be a dream. And I would like to get famous enough to be able to dance on Dancing with the Stars. My favourite programme is Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I won't hear a bad word said about it. It's just brilliant. At the time that I first watched it, I was really in need of a female icon, a strong uh, role model and she provided that in buckets. I've watched the program several times since and it gets better every time I watch it and if you give out about it it's because you haven't really watched it. So I've done quite a few courses in college. Um, I started out by doing a diploma, or was it a diploma? No, a PLC course in Cultural and Heritage Studies. Then I did a degree in Business Studies with Arts Management and I got a first in that which I was so proud of. After that I did a diploma in um, image and fashion styling and then finally I did a master's in TESOL which stands for teaching English to speakers of other languages. Whew. If I could only listen to one musician for the rest of my life it would be Ezio Basso. He's an Italian composer and his music just gets me. It makes me a little emotional and I think it's very beautiful and last year I sent him a message to tell him that and he replied which was amazing. Um, aside from that if I had to choose something a little bit more upbeat I would choose Michael Jackson because I never get tired of his music or more recently Florence and the Machine or Ariana Grande. A movie that had a very big impact on me was Grey Gardens. There are two Grey Gardens movies, a Hollywood movie and then a real life documentary and I suggest that you watch the Hollywood one first. Um, but it's really the documentary that had the biggest impact on me. I think the reason that it did was because there's the characters are really beautiful, they're very complicated and there's a lot about their regret and their unrealized dreams and passions and I think at the time that I watched it I wasn't really happy with what I was doing or where my life was going. Now I am so I can watch it now and it doesn't upset me the same way but if you're not so happy with what your life is like then it might have the same effect on you. I don't know maybe maybe it was just me but uh, they're also really funny characters and very stylish so it really got me on all levels. Well that's it, I hope you won't bore to tears. If you liked it and if you like me and you'd like to see more then please subscribe, I will be so happy.